four-way test. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? And will it be beneficial to all concerned? Lyle and Wilma Wunderlich found their way to Idaho from Kansas via Mississippi and Colorado. Born six of seven children, Nancy spent her first 17 years growing up in Twin Falls, Idaho. Her involvement with horses led her to join the rodeo club in high school, and it was at a national high school rodeo that Nancy met a boy from Louisiana. Three years later, two weeks out of high school, she married him and moved to Lake Charles, Louisiana. Her life in Louisiana included the birth of three children, Amanda, Aaron, and Adam. Later divorced, Nancy attended college and eventually the degrees and certifications that led to her current profession. Nancy joined Rotary like her father and brother Fritz. Good afternoon and welcome to the Twin Falls Rotary Club. Uh, leading us in in his brave song, if not pledge, is Foggy Fisher in the case of the we gave her a bad time here a while back about learning the words to Idaho. Not only did she get that, then we started giving her a bad time about the R-O-T-A-R-Y. Well, we did that here a while back, but evidently she wasn't here because she's made up her mind she's going to learn those words too. <laughs> so, how many of you know the word? How many of you know that old song of ours, R-O-T-A-R-Y? Enough of you know it that we can sing it? Yeah. We do it. Before we get to the program, I'd like to remind you folks of a couple things. One of the doors, which of course has the shoe by them that you have to put a dollar in if you're leaving early. Well, over the last couple weeks, I'm sure you all saw that we've lost three prominent lawyers from the Magic Valley. I know what you're all thinking. That's a good start. <laughs> Fred Harder, just uh, not well, recently back from his uh, cruise off the uh, coast of Somalia. Like it so well, he's still wearing some of the native garb from there. So, uh, Fred Harder. <laughs> anyway, um... I'm finding Harry Turner $50 for calling into the radio station and acting like he doesn't know my name since he always refers to me as Kelly's co-host. Harry, do you really think I don't recognize your voice? <laughs> Come on! Coming, and um, we're so excited because Sam from Big Boys Barbecue is catering tonight. But since I'm in charge, we were going to have barbecue tofu and everything. <laughs> Sam Holton. He's a good cop, good citizen, great guy with just the right amount of BS to be a welcome addition to our Exchequer Committee. And uh, last but not least, a, a terrific Rotarian. So I just got to say our club was the better, definitely, for having Sam with us. Thank you. 
From mile 14 to about 20, we had an ambulance following us. <laughs> Proof that I finished. Yeah. Total that was sold was four hundred and forty dollars. So I have a check in my pocket for two hundred and twenty Jack Aiken. Oh. Dictionary from our dictionary project. This group is from Oregon Trail, and the first one is from Michael. It says, "Thank you for the dictionaries that you sent the school. You don't need to send any next year." <laughs> okay, um, I just want to announce that we have posters today. Hopefully you guys will take some and put them up in your business. I brought with me a list of the folks who received donations from last year's Death by Chocolate, so you can see the folks that we have benefited in this community. The Southern Idaho Learning Center, Interfaith Volunteer Caregivers, the YMCA of Twin Falls, Magic Valley High School, CSI Foundation, Valley House, Jump Company, La Posada, Magic Valley Symphony, Jubilee House, South Central Community Action, the Wellness Clinic, the Mustard Seed, Idaho Department of Health and Welfare, Twin Falls Community Foundation, and TSI Rotary Christmas Scholarship Endowment. last week 